Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to another video. Now I thought I would try enhancing the uh, DOS windows on my Amiga 500 Mini using Pandora. The last video I put on got a lot of views so I thought I'd try doing it again but this time I've put a lot more stuff on here so let's have a look. So let's wait for Pandora to load. There it is, Pandora, as you can see. Now this will only work on firmware 1.0, bear that in mind, as of recording this video, that is. Okay, so let's go into my main folder. I've got two comps here. I've got Windows 3.31 and Windows 95. So you can just launch that. And uh, the way I've got this set up, it will automatically launch DOSBox with my image image file so let's uh, boot that up using the boot uh, dash l command and c for c drive anyone who's familiar with dos box dos box sorry will know about this so it's going to load in some drivers i've put on for the sound blaster the emulated sound blaster unfortunately as of recording this video dos box isn't very good um for this architecture using Liberto, but you'll hear why in a minute. So for, the same does work, but it's very stuttery. Now I've put on Microsoft Office version 4.3, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's working. The, the graphics aren't right at the minute. There's still some graphical glitches, but yeah, it's a proof of concept. Here's Windows 3.1 sorry windows 3.11 running on the amiga 500 mini got chip challenge on here best thing to do if you decide to do something like this yourself is turn the music off for now because they haven't like i said the music the sound isn't working very good but yeah that's a microsoft entertainment pack running on the amiga 500 mini on top of dos and on top of uh Windows 3.11 for work group, so that's quite impressive. It's it's emulated, of course, and it's a Liberto core, which doesn't seem to uh, be very optimized for the Amiga 500 Mini as of yet. But they might improve that by running it native or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's Chips Challenge. Do you think that's quite cool? Running Chips Challenge, the 3.11. Sorry, I keep saying that the 3.1 version running in a 3.11 on the Amiga 500 Mini definitely something that the Amiga 500 Mini was not designed to do okay so let's try a different game in a minute let's get past this level here there was a DOS version of Chip Challenge as well which had animation in Windows 3.11 oh, saying that 3.1 version had static animation there wasn't no frames on the sprites or anything maybe a limitation of windows 3.1 api i'm not sure here's another game well i've just blown my theory at the water because these balls are emulated aren't they this is maxwell's maniac quite a fun game actually so i've also you can also on paintbrush but as you can see graphics aren't quite right because even now i'm trying to draw on the screen nothing's appearing so there is some issues with uh, running uh, DOSBox on the Amiga 500 Mini but I'm sure that will be improved upon but I do like trying these crazy ideas so we've got Microsoft Office on here as well I decided to install Office 4.3 and as you can see there's Microsoft Office there's Microsoft Word so let's change the uh, font size to a bigger font hi YouTubers Change to a different font again. Bear in mind this is all still running off that Amiga 500 Mini that wasn't designed to run this at all. Here is the A500 Mini running. I'm quite slow at typing at the minute because I've got the uh, I've got a really tiny keyboard hooked up by a USB and it's not the easiest thing to type on. Here's the Amiga 500 Mini running Microsoft Word Laugh Out Loud or Lots of Love, whichever way you want to say it. And there it is, 1993 to 1994 and this is version 6.0a. 
okay so shall we have a look at excel next i think we should so excel here running on the amiga 500 mini of course you get this quick preview screen on the 4.3 version but i'm just going to come out of that so as you can see it's still got graphical glitches because you can't see any of the grid so we can have a look at the games the normal game solitaire works just fine apart from still a few gl graphical glitches there might be ways of improving this via the config of config file i'm not sure i am not that uh uh, well educated about the config file of DOSBox. DOSBox, it works fine on the PC as normal, but on the Amiga 500 Mini side of it, it shows some graphical glitches. So this is actually running at 800 by 600 uh, using the S3 driver that I picked up on the uh, interweb. So we've got calculator here and the clock running. So yeah, that's uh, Windows 3.11 and I've currently got, got it as of recording this video. Now shall we have a look at uh, Windows 95 as well? So I'm just going to uh, force quit DOSBox by pressing home and menu at the same time. And we'll load the other config file which is Windows 95. I've got that on the uh, root of my USB pen. So if you ever want to look at something on the root of USB, USB pen, always look for the MNT folder. Now these are custom configure files that I've got. And as you can see, it's now loading a Windows 95. <laughs> can you believe it? Windows 95 uh, actually loading on the uh, Amiga 500 Mini. So it took me ages to do this. And uh, yeah, it's so, it takes a long time to load. I would imagine it takes just as long as running Windows 95 on a 386 computer back in the day. Now, like I said earlier in the video, Liberto Core on the Amiga 500 Mini is not very well optimized. You've got graphical glitches. You've got a very slow speed. It's The audio is choppy. It's not right at all. Uh, when this loads in a second you'll see uh, or sorry you would hear rather that the uh, audio is very choppy there might be ways of improving this i haven't looked into that i was the aim of this was to try and get these operating systems to even run and uh, i've managed to do that so i'm quite pleased with that so let's wait for this to load it will finish loading in a second uh, just give it a moment Second is a wrong word to use. And there we go, look at that. Windows 95 on the Amiga 500 Mini. As you can see, there's still the graphical glitches. I have actually got the S3 Trio uh, sort of like installed in the virtual environment, but on the Amiga 500 Mini, sadly, there's some graphical glitches. But as you can see, as a proof of concept, it does actually work. So there's probably improvements that can be done. Like if any experts out there know how to improve these graphical glitches or the uh, sound problems, please get in contact with me. Uh, via the comments or via my Paul is the best for UK at gmail.com email correspondence and uh, yeah so it's solitaire working and as you can see I thought I'll try craziness and craziness prevailed because we've got Windows 3.11 and Windows 95 as for Windows 98 I think DOSBox dropped support for Windows 98 completely so I don't think that would be possible don't even ask about Windows 2000 and Windows XP because that will definitely not be possible, at least as far as I know. Not by using DOSBox anyway. Maybe maybe a Linux port of uh, PCM, PCM, PCEM would run them. But yeah, this is Windows 95. This is Paul, this is the best for you. Okay, signing out. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, yep, so let's shut down the system in a minute once I've uh, decided to have a look at to some of the rest of the uh, stuff on the system and uh, thank you for watching have a pleasant evening goodbye <laughs>